Good morning, welcome to Tuesday Morning's Thought for today. And I want to take you to the story of Jairus' daughter. Uh, it's a story about the fact that she died. It's the fact that Jairus had come to ask for Jesus' help. Jesus hadn't got there in time. We might be tempted to say that in the same way as Jesus didn't get to Lazarus in time. Uh, we, we know that he got held up because this woman who had uh, bleed for 12 years interrupted his journey towards Lazarus's house. And on the way to Lazarus's house, after he's dealt with that, that woman, uh, these men or these people come from Jairus's house and basically say, look, it's too late. Jesus can't do anything about it now. Don't bother the teacher. Let's, uh, let's go back together. Your daughter's died uh, and we're very sorry about that. And we thought yesterday about the fact that uh, when those things happen in us, in our lives, that is not the right time to, to give up on Jesus, but we need to keep trusting, we need to keep holding on to him, we need to keep believing that he has plans and purposes beyond our understanding, beyond our comprehension, and that he has uh, total control and he's fully aware of our feelings. But today we want to look further into this uh, passage really from verse 35 on to verse 43. We read verse 35 was yesterday, while he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house some who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Then verse 36, But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. I love this. This one verse is incredible. Uh, because I, I, I mentioned this on Sunday as I, as I was trying to, to preach on this passage, where this verse, the, the verb that's used within this verse uh, but overhearing can also mean to ignore or to hear the truth, but not to take the truth in. Uh, and the truth was that uh, this daughter that belonged to Jairus had died. That was the truth. Jesus decided not to, to believe in the truth or not to, to act on the truth. He also ignored what he heard. In other words, he could have said, oh, Jairus, look, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry this has happened to you. Um, but you, yeah, go back home, be with your family, and uh, maybe we'll see each other again sometime. He didn't say that. He didn't ignore and uh, he, he, he ignored it. Sorry, he, he didn't take it in. He, he basically said, you know, let's not focus on what you've just heard, Jairus. It sounds bad, but let's not focus on that. And then he goes on to say, don't, uh, don't fear, but believe. Don't fear, only believe. Now, how many times in life have we, have we had that emotion where we, all we want to do is fear because the fear is, is so overwhelming or it's just so serious that we're terrified. And even though somebody might come and say to us, look, don't worry about it, it's going to be fine. No, no, seriously, it'll be fine. And very often we say to ourselves, how, how can they possibly say to us, don't worry, it will be fine. They don't know me. They don't know who I am. They don't know my situation. They, they have no experience in this themselves. In fact, very often the people who say that to you aren't necessarily people who even have, have a faith because those are the people, who, if you have faith, you should be saying, look, let's trust. Let's trust because we have, to, we have to hold on here to our faith. We have to trust that God knows what he's doing. We have to trust that God is still in control. But so often we hear people saying, oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. It's, it's not that bad. I'm sure it'll all work out fine. And those people who say they're sure and not to do this and don't worry about that, they are, they are in a sense false because they don't know. Not one of us knows. And so Jesus looks us in the face and he said, don't fear, don't fear, only believe. As I tried to un unpack this on Sunday and you can only say so much in a Sunday morning service, this idea of, of don't fear, this, it was Jesus basically saying, don't, don't let fear replace your faith. Don't let fear get in the way of what you believe. And the verb that's used for believing, it's, it's a continuous presence. In other words, it's you came to me believing, okay, let's just keep that going. It wasn't as if all of a sudden Jairus had stopped believing because he'd heard the news. And then Jesus said, okay, let's get that belief back up again so we can move on. But Jesus was saying, you came to me with that belief. Let's keep that belief where it was. Because the, the, the amazing fact is, Jairus came believing in Jesus, that Jesus could do something. Jairus was not focusing 
on his daughter so much as he was focusing on what he believed Jesus could do. And Jesus was saying to him, you came believing in me. I haven't changed. I'm still the same Jesus. I'm still as powerful as you You came asking and believing me to be. Now let's let's keep that faith going because Jesus can, can do anything when our faith is, is, is firmly placed in him. So we live with two different sorts of people in the world. And, and I want to encourage you when you are there trying to encourage somebody, don't give them the, oh, it'll be all right, sure, it's, go, it's all going to work out fine. It'll all work out perfect in the end. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. And instead, go to those people and say, look, let's trust. I, I believe that God is looking after the situ situation. I believe that he can turn this around. I believe, I believe, I believe. And so we, we, we're encouraged, I suppose, to, to want to encourage people through our living act of faith. Don't be discouraged when you hear those people trying to falsely accuse you. Trust in the Lord, trust in him, and know that in him you will get your encouragement. In him you will know truth. This is a, a difficult one, but I pray that for, for you in your situation today that you will hear the words of Jesus saying, do not fear, only believe. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to whatever's going on in your life. Hold on to your faith. Keep believing. Our, our faith shouldn't change in the like the waves of the sea. Our faith should be like the horizon beyond the sea. Constantly there, knowing who we trust, why we trust him, and that he's worthy of our trust. And so I pray that you get encouragement from this message today. Don't fear. Keep believing. Keep holding on to Jesus. This is what Jairus had to do. And we'll find out, if we, you know the story anyway, you'll find out as this week goes on what actually happened. So have a good Tuesday. God willing, you'll be back again tomorrow. And we'll speak to you then. Thank you.